Hello folks, Mundane Man here again, and I am at the Opal Natural area, and I haven't been out on the old quad for quite some time, so this is about an hour away from home, so I thought I would just uh, go for a little scoot out here for the afternoon and see what it's like, just scout it out a little bit, and uh, just see what the trails are like. Looks like there's a lot of sand here, you can see that already, all up in there is sand, so um hopefully not a lot of mud i'm not a big mud fan but uh the road was a little muddy getting in here um a little, a little muddy not too bad though I'm, it's about zero to minus two right now so the uh if it was a little warmer that might be pretty mushy to get in so um, i'm just gonna buzz around here for a little bit and see what it's like so of all the things i forgot to bring gloves I got my gas filling up gloves with me, but I don't have a good pair of winter gloves, so that was a big boner on my part. I do have some uh, heated grips and thummy thing. Heated thumb, you know, the throttle heater. You know what I mean. So we'll give it a try for a while and see what happens, see if I freeze my fingers off. Because I haven't had the truck, or sorry, the quad out for quite a while, I'm just going to kind of stick around here, make sure everything's running okay, and then uh, maybe venture out a little bit further.
that was the first little run. Uh, not too bad. The uh, quad is running good. And my glasses are all out of whack here, but I can still see through them. Um, a real hump me dump me type trails. They're just uh, lots of dipsy doodles all the way through. Um, I have to stand up for a lot of them because my ass just can't take that kind of banging. <laughs> so everything's running good, so I think we'll venture out maybe a little bit further now. Well, I've been at it for about 45 minutes. Quad is running good. Uh, there's a couple other people out here, but on a Friday, it's pretty quiet right now. Um, one thing that worries me a little bit is uh, the snow covered ice uh, in the trails. The, there's water underneath. And uh, if you happen to hit that, you know, I worry about, you know, breaking the ice and then a chunk hitting the sidewall of the tire or something. Overall, um, you know, it's a fairly, fairly moderate ride out here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you notice from my riding style, I'm pretty conservative. I try and avoid uh, mud puddles and, um, you know, anywhere where I might get stuck or get into trouble. I mean, what's that old saying? Never go as far away from your vehicle as you're willing to walk back. Nice day for quadding. It's uh, probably about minus one. It might be above zero now the road coming in, how soft it's going to get, but uh, 
got four wheel drive, so we'll just give her the beans on the way out of here. So this is what uh, it's like at Opal. It's a lot like Bruderheim. I don't know if you've heard Heim or not, but you know, lots of sand, lots of uh, dipsy doodles uh, in the trails, and uh, you know, fairly, fairly. Uh, I don't know. I think if a family could ride out here. You don't need to have a, a lot of skill. And there's probably enough mud puddles around and stuff for people who like to get into the, in, and uh, you know, pull themselves out and stuff. That's not for me. I'm kind of lazy too, like I'm a fair weather quarter. I, mean, I don't want to uh, wash a bunch of mud off. So anyways, maybe I'll uh, go out a little bit more and uh, might uh, ride for another half hour or so. Always good to get out and uh, enjoy the sunshine and, you know, just get out of the house for once. Can-Am back on the trailer and all set and ready to leave. That was, uh, you know, a couple hour jaunt around the Opal area. Well, the Opal natural area, if you will. And uh, just feels good to get out and, uh, you know, ride on the quad a bit, get some fresh air, get everything dirty just to clean it off again. Not a lot of mud, really. Um, if you're going through any water or anything, Usually the bottom of the water is frozen so you can track your way through and you're not going to get stuck in any mud and, any, and in the trees it's still quite a bit frozen as well just being just late March so um, a good ride and because it's basically an hour away from home it's not too bad to jaunt to come out here and just ride around for a bit just to get out. Um, another area similar to this would be around Bruderheim. Uh, I think it's the Bruderheim natural area just like the Opal natural area and uh, basically just a nice afternoon. So that's it for this edition of Mundane Man as I would quadded around the uh, Opal area and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, well here's the last part of our trip, getting out that road there. Got it in four-wheel drive auto for now. And we should see how things go getting out of here. Michelin.
when mud and snow is on. They're not really an off-road tire per se. But keep an eye on the trailer back there too that seems to be going for some uh, loop-de-loops behind me. When I got here it was a little bit harder. Now it's starting to get soft as the day goes on and the sun hits it. Probably more action than uh, I saw on the trails with the quad. Guess the only downside to these short trips is it's getting a, a lot of stuff dirty for such a short period of time. But I guess that's part of the fun, eh? Okay, we'll catch you next time we got out safe and sound.